Hi everyone, welcome to the laser ablation tomography facility that we have housed here in the Department of Plant Science at Penn State University. Uh, behind me you can see the latest iteration of a tool that we use for visualizing plant anatomy. Um, and it's a really interesting technique that generates a lot of interest whenever we present data uh, generated from this uh, methodology at meetings or in academic journals. Uh, we get a lot of questions about what it is, uh, how it functions, and the capacities that it can be used for. So to address all of these questions, uh, I thought it would be easiest just to summarize all of this in a video that actually shows you how the system works and how it can be used. So our group uh, is most interested in visualizing both root and shoot anatomy of major crops like bean, maize, and rice, and looking at different anatomical features, specifically within the root system, that can uh, help these major crops in both acquiring and more efficiently utilizing uh, important resources like water, uh, especially under drought scenarios, as well as uh, important macronutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus, which can often be limiting uh, in many agricultural soils. So here we can see a general schematic of the laser ablation demography system. Its base is a UV laser source, which is projected at 355 nanometers, and it occurs at a pulsed repetition rate somewhere between 25 kilohertz and 40 kilohertz, which is appropriate for most of our samples. This laser is directed through some beam shaping optics and then into a galvanometer, which is used to oscillate the beam over a linear distance to create a cutting sheet. We then have a biological sample, which is moved into the path of the beam, by a motorized stage. And as this sample is ablated by the beam, a digital camera that's fitted with a macro lens is imaging each illuminated slice in real time. Here we can see the laser source with the beam path being directed by a series of mirrors and shielded from the user by these opaque tubes. The metallic box is the galvanometer, which rapidly oscillates the beam back and forth to create a cutting sheet that ablates the sample position below at the focal plane of the camera. Another feature of the laser ablation tomography system is its capacity for differentiation of spectra from different tissues under UV excitation. Red, green, and blue channels can be measured from tissues illuminated by the UV laser, and dominant emission wavelength can then be determined from these data to provide some information on the composition of the tissue. For example, here we can differentiate between the chitinous cell wall of our buscular mycorrhizae colonizing this maize root sample, which is highlighted in red, and the autofluorescent spectra emitted from the lignin and cellulose-based walls of the plant tissue. Laser ablation tomography also allows for three-dimensional visualization and quantification of features in samples. Image stacks of a sample can be compiled into 3D reconstructions similarly to Z-stacks in confocal microscopy. While Z-stacks generated through confocal techniques are ideal for cellular level visualization, the depth that's able to be visualized using traditional microscopy is limited by the opacity of the tissue. Although laser ablation tomography does not have the same resolution of a microscope, it is ideal for tissue level visualization on the scale of 0.1 millimeters to about a centimeter, and three-dimensional reconstruction of large opaque tissue samples is possible. 